Well, ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii ya kuwashukuru wananchi wote wa Kenya nikiwa mmoja wao kwa sababu ya Jamhuri Day. Unajua tumekaa miaka mingi tukiomba Mungu atuweke pamoja nchi ya Kenya. Na mimi naona Jamhuri Day iliweka signal mzuri kwa nchi mzima ya kuoneshana that we are remembering we are Kenyans. Nyimbo ambayo ilichezwa za kizalendo it was everywhere in the media ni kama walikuwa wamepangwa lakini walikuwa wamejipanga wenyewe kusherekea nchi yetu ya Kenya sherehe ilikuwa mzuri peaceful hatukukuwa na mambo ya ma accident na watu walifurahia sana hasa niliona station moja ya, ya citizen na i was shocked ile rumba ilikuwa huku akisherekea nyimbo ya kitaifa nyimbo za uzalendo nyimbo ambaye zina maana na nyimbo ambaye niliweza hata mimi kujifikiria mara ya pili nikaona i think if also the media and kenyans can wataweza kushangilia kwa njia hiyo inatuweka moyo na roho ya kutuonesha kweli ingawa tunapita mashida mingi lakini ya Kenyans Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii wale waliweza kuona uzalendo wa nchi yetu ya Kenya na wanafikiria mambo mengine ya kuendesha ambaye si mazuri can really treat and think what are we supposed to do kila mtu ajiweke kanyumba yake ya mafikirio tujifikirie vile tuliona celebration hiyo nyimbo ambayo ziliimbwa na wale walituweza kutuletea utawala wa nchi yetu ya Kenya uzalendo wao nyimbo zao za siku hizo tusizipoteze ni nyimbo za maana na inashukuru pia rais wetu Ruto ile mambo aliendesha ya jamhuri de mazungumzo wazalendo ambao walijaa na ninashukuru wenye waliweza kuandaa mipangilio hiyo ya kuwa watu wote wakuweka wa, wa nyimbo tofauti tofauti za nchi yetu ya Kenya waliweza kusherekea na kupewa nafasi nyimbo zote mama kaya nani wote all those people we knew before waliweza kutuletea mambo mazuri nyimbo nzuri za nchi yetu ya Kenya ya kutuweka pamoja can we come back on our mind and think this our country and this our country we are just having a small problem or teething problem and the inter- the country has a signal the country is coming up the economy is coming up na umoja wetu unaanza kurudi na tutarudi na tutakuwa pale tulikuwa hii day ni tulikuwa naye ikiisha ya serikali ile ilikuweko and you know this is a process hii serikali si ya kupindulua ni ya kuchagulua kidemokrasia kwa kwa hivyo yale mambo yalikuwa mazito kwa pandile tukayakuta lazima tugealipa na hii ningezaa kuelezea na Kenya that's why kodi imekuwa ni lazima ili ile deni ilikuweko kwa sababu tulikuweko kwa hiyo serikali sisi wote ukiwa ulikuwa kwa madaraka ama ukiwa kwa madaraka hiyo jukumu lazima tubebe na ninashukuru the plan of the president he has agreed he has agreed to bite the bullet kuweka kodi tulipe hiyo madeni yote ilikuweko na tukulipa hiyo madeni then from there by this year we are going now tutakuwa tumeruka jukumu kubwa sana na tutakuwa tumeingia kwa mambo mengine mazuri sana na nchi kila kitu itakuwa imerudi chini na sio hapa peke yake even in the world Mungu atatusaidia dunia mzima kwa sababu we need each other hata kama ni, duni, ni mambo ya ile inapigana vita ya Israeli na nini everywhere hii mambo Mungu atarudisha tuwe na amani Amerika wachaguana kwa amani nchi zingine na sisi tuendelee kwa njia ya amani ili tuweze kukaa pamoja ni muhimu sana kujifikiria na kukumbuka that this is our Kenya country and we have no where else we can go and this is the best country if you go to other areas utasikia watu wote wakitamani kuja Kenya nchi zote za Ulaya this is the stepping stone ndio wakitaka kuingia Afrika wana kwanza wanakuja hapa kwa sababu matumaini na bidii ya watu wa Kenya inajulikana ni mambo mazito tukiangazia mashida ile iko for now lakini it is a teething problem ukizaa mtoto 
After one year inakuja kitu naitwa teething problem shida ya mtoto ya meno hawachi wa mama na baba walale kwa nyumba kuhara kulia kusumbuka all the time putting the whole house pressure that's where we are we are just in the teething problem but we are coming out on that na mambo itakuwa mzuri sana na tuombe pia rais wetu na viongozi wengine na ningeomba wana Kenya tafadhali wale viongozi wako nafikiri kutoka hii mwaka tukiingia Januari hii naingia tuwaombe viongozi wetu wakiwa ni ministers wakiwa ni wajumbe wakiwa ni senators wakiwa ni governors na president wetu hawa ndio wako sasa kwa uongozi let's respect them for now hii vita kidogo kidogo haikosi mmoja mwili atasa kuwa tofauti lakini hiyo sio sababu ya kusema tukondemu nchi yetu tukondemu ma ministers yote tukondemu ma MP wote no they are doing their work and them ndio wako kwa kubadilisha si sheria na kwa kuweka sheria mpya na kuweka mambo mengine judiciary tuiheshimu pia na tujiheshimu sisi kama wana Kenya wazerendo sisi wote tujiweke pamoja by next year ni maombi yangu na ni my dream that this country is going to change i have that dream that this country is starting to change ulikuwa kwa kimlima tumeanza kutelemuka na mambo itakuwa mazuri lakini ningeomba watu hii ni mwezi mbaya sana ya christmas ambayo watu they are very busy tukisherekea mambo ya Mungu ya Yesu tujichunge sisi wenyewe tunajua kutakuwa kuzaliwa kwa Yesu kufuka kwa Yesu naomba please kama ni watu wa boda boda take care of the passenger and yourself hii mambo ya kupita ovyo ovyo na kuangusha watu na kukufa if you get the number of the people who have died the border border people they have created employment in this country but at the same time many people have died so ningeomba tujichunge kwa magari kwa madereva na kupeleka gari ukuwa mlevi tafadhali don't do that kwenda masafara ya mbali sana na umechoka please you can just even stay where you are na Mungu akubariki na uwe enjoy your christmas kama vile tulifanya kwa hii jamhuri day kwa hivyo kila mtu ajiweke pamoja tuheshimu each other na tuombe na wale wanafikiri pengine wako nje ama amwachwa nje we cannot be in all of us at the same time let's respect forever we are and what we are doing na tuweze kufanya kazi tukiwa pamoja bloggers wetu tafadhali muhubiri amani sessions zetu tuhubiri amani sisi yote wacha tupendane tukae kwa amani tunajua kuna maumivu kuna watu wako hospitali wagonjwa kuna watu wako na shida kwa sababu ya maji mvua ambayo imenyesha kubwa sana but don't forget kuna areas inasaidia sana hiyo mvua kuna areas inaumiza wengine can we balance and say god help us to balance sehemu ile ni mbaya na sehemu ile ni mzuri tunajua kwa sasa actually when we are going for christmas and this one i can say myself and take it to the bank from where i stay in bahati from where i know in rift valley from where i've gone in narok from where i've gone other areas in central and also in western i know christmas hii mungu ametupa chakula hatutakosa chakula ya christmas ya kufurahia na ya kuweza kuweza kujua mungu pia ana mpango ya sisi wenyewe kwa sababu mambo ya mvua nobody can control it's only god kwa hivyo nashukuru na shukuru rais wetu wa kutuongoza kwa njia mzuri kwa amani kwa mpangilio hata nasikia wengi wakizungumza eh hey, who supposed to be rewarded what who supposed to be rewarded what that is not important to be rewarded is kenyans if kenyans were rewarded with peace if we are rewarded by the pro, the program ile rais wetu ameweka tafadhali tuheshimu hiyo ningetaka tena kuangazia pesa mashinani hasla fund tafadhalini please it shows how we are not mature if we can be given free money na wengi wamekwama makulipa na ni kwa makusudi tu si kwa kukosa makusudi kama wewe unapiga kelele ya pesa ni kidogo si waachane naye usibebe wacha yule anajua kubeba akiwa maskini na kurudisha imeinua watu wengi mpaka pahali tumefika wengi wameinuka wengi wamefaidika kama wewe unajua mpangilio unabeba na utalipa that shows how even the voters there because kama wewe unachukua pesa na unatukanana na ni pesa kidogo na wengine wanasema haijawafikia kama wewe hauko kwa mitandao unataka ufanywe nini na ukifanywa wewe utafanyia na utafanyia nini mwezako 
na utafanyia nini inchi ya Kenya inchi ya Kenya it will only be good kama unachukua tano, lipa uchukua tano, elfu kumi, lipa ili ifikie huyo mwingine anio tano ukiwa na roho safi ndani ya roho yako hasa unafanya itakusaidia unaona president wewe unafanya mzuri amesign cdf from 2.5 to 5% I want to tell you I've been MP I know how that money works. If this money is going to be 5% na rais anatafuta hii pesa usiku na mchana iweze kuwa implemented. Hakuna constituency itakuwa na tabu. Pesa za barabara every constituency imeongezwa. It is 65 million every constituency. Na hiyo hatujaguza pesa ya ya counties. Counties they have their own money. Pahali nao wanataka kuchangia. If we get that light and we respect that i want to tell you this president is going to change this country and i have a dream and i have seen it akianza kubadilisha nchi yetu na itakuwa nchi nzuri na tena ningeomba wana Kenya roho ya chuki ili akaini na hadhili mtu kuwa dada yake kuwa dugu yake si ni kama tu iko ngasa hii israeli na gaza i don't know whether kenyans know israel na gaza they are from one mother one mother But you can see kifo ile iko huko from one father different mothers but from one father you can see the fight which is there it is very bad ni vita imeangaisha kuwa watu wengi almost 20000 people are dead ni kwa sababu ya kitu kidogo na hiyo ni familia moja sisi wana Kenya we also one family let's be careful tusiingie mambo kama hiyo ngaza na Israel itakuja kutuletea shida Let's respect each other. Tuwe na amani, tuweze kupata chakula, tuweze kukaa tukiomba, na Mungu anasema tukiomba mkate hata tupea mawe. Na Mungu amesema tukikonga konga mlango atafungua. Why can't we follow the Bible? Na tuweze kwenda mbele. Mambo ya wale wako kwa upinzani. Fine, we respect you. Kweni upinzani kwa mambo ambayo imekomaa. Kwa sababu you cannot destroy Kenyans on telling people lies at the same time You want to be in the position of the government. If you be there also, you be able to know the problem which the president goes through. Kwa sababu ya Kenya mzima, he is the president of the whole country, all tribes. And I want to say to thank the president. He has tried to balance. To balance kupeana kazi. I don't think we have another president who have done that. Balancing all the tribe and rewarding all Kenyans. We cannot fit all of us, but he has tried all what he could and what he thinks is the best tuweke namna hiyo ya mwisho nionye tusijaribu ukabila ukabila tafadhalini mtu wote individual ambaye unafikiria mambo ya ukabila you are too far from us you are too far from kenyans tuache ukabila we are brothers we marry each other we stay together we do all this thing together we are together all of us lakini ya mwisho kama mkristo ningetaka kusema hii mambo wachungaji wanasukuma i also join them hii mambo imepitiwa juu ya America na sehemu zingine. Tatamani kan mali ya man. A woman kan mali kan mali a woman. Mimi nakataana na hiyo na mimi naungana na wachungaji wetu wa Kenya. All of them. That is completely not in the Bible at all. Na mimi naambia kwa watu mara mingi, shika bibili, shika constituency yetu ya Kenya, katiba yetu kwa mkono ya kushoto. Kwa sababu iko na guideline ya mipangilio ya procedure. Lakini the Bible get it on your right hand. If you get the Bible on your right hand, it has answer and the solution of the constitution on in our living and the focusing how we should stay and how we should forgive each other. Tusipiganie mambo ya siasa, ya viti. Tuache rais wetu afanye vile ataweza kufanya na wale wako wajumbe na wamilisas wafanye. Vita ambayo iko ya challenge lazima iwe iko lakini challenge in a good way ili tuweze kwenda mbele. I wish them good Christmas ikifika and also I thank them for jamhuri for what they did. Mungu bariki Kenya, Mungu bariki sisi wote tukae kwa umoja. Tunaombea wale wako hospitali, wagonjwa, kuna maumivu maumivu makali na pia Mungu tusaidie. Hii ugonjwa wa cancer it has come in a very big way. It has come even to a poor people in the villages. Inaumiza watu sana kwa villages. Mungu tusaidie for this cancer kwa sababu imekuwa ni moja inaongoza kifo katika inchi muzima na hasa katika Kenya you see a very poor person children in the village hii haina tajiri na maskini na ina affect kwanza maskini in the villages sana 
Tunashukuru rais wetu ameleta mambo ya matibabu na mambo ya kucheki ugonjwa ambaye amerudi kila pahali. He is thinking about us. He is thinking about Kenya. Eh? Even if you can think maybe ana kitu moja haikufurahishi. Don't forget 99 there are good things. Maybe if one is not good for you, don't count all of them. Kuna msemo wa Kikuyu unasemaga mkikuyu uhesabu ukumpa mara 99 ugunyime safari moja anabaki akishikia hiyo safari moja. Let not be selfish in that way. Let's respect the percent the government is doing good, the percent which the president is doing good, I think that will be good. Tuungane sisi yote, tuombanie, tukae pamoja. Mungu abariki Kenya.